If you've been following my channel, you know that I like folding wooden rulers. So I was really excited when I saw this in an old toolbox that I got from my uncle. I was like, wow, another antique folding ruler that I can use. And the first thing I tried to do was fold it, and it doesn't unfold. So it took me a bit to realize that it's not a folding ruler, it's a sliding ruler. So it slides and locks and slides and slides. And it's got two different modes. It measures the outside like a normal, with a normal ruler. And oh, another thing it took me a while to figure out how to do is collapse it. You have to start on this first one and slide it. Then each individual segment will push down the lock on the next one. So you've got to slide it in stages and unslide it in stages. So that's kind of neat. But I also notice it's got this inside measure, and it says inside measure read here. So, like, what the heck does that mean? Well, what it means is you slide this out, and these numbers come out there. So if I want to do an inside measurement, if I want to measure between these two pieces of wood, I just keep sliding, and a bump, and now you can see I'm 17 inches, and then plus 5 eighths, so 17 and 5 eighths in between these two. So that's a pretty nifty system. And then this side, you know, it's just, you know, whatever, it means nothing for the outside measurement. Um, you can slide these back together. I gotta start with this one. So this is a really a pretty nifty design. However, it's a little bit fragile. You can see there's a little pin there, and some of these ends are loose. If I slide this out, um, it's locking in. Yeah, this one's funny. See, this one doesn't lock in right. So now, any measurements dealing with this section of ruler would be wrong because it's not hooked together right. Um, and then you also have to collapse it starting at the very end, which is a little bit awkward. So this is uh, Interlocks, branded Craftsman, made in the USA. So this is really pretty much just a novelty. Maybe if you had one of these that was new and in really good shape, you could still use it. But without these joints all being perfect, it's you're going to have problems with it. So, as far as an actual measuring device, it's accurate until you get to the couple that don't lock in correctly. And then it's all over the place, as one might imagine. Um, so if you come across one of these, that's how they, they work. Um, if you try to force it shut from here without pushing in, you know, all the pins, um, You'll, you'll damage it, you'll damage the ends, and if you, it also locks up here, like not all the joints, now that's still locked up until they push down and slide again. So it's, this one has definitely seen better days. So this is now just, you know, an interesting piece of history, more than an actually a useful tool. But I'm gonna keep this around, and it's definitely a neat thing, a sliding ruler instead of a folding ruler. Side measurement. That's, let's let me show you that again. That's really cool. So it slides only from one end. So it's the same end that's sliding as before, and that clicks out, locks out, and once again, you know, 17 and 5 eighths. Now I can do the same thing with this ruler. Side measurement. That's let's let me show you that again. That's really cool. So it slides only from one end, so it's the same end that's sliding as before, and that clicks out, locks out, and once again, you know, 17 and 5 eighths. Now I can do the same thing with this ruler. As I know the end is 13, so if I slide this out and hit put that in, slide it out and hit. So now I know 
that this is 13 plus 4 and 5 eighths, which is 17 and 5 eighths, the same as this one. But that requires a little bit more math, but this one, you know, no math required. 17 and 5 eighths right there, are 17 and 9 sixteenths, because they're not perfectly parallel. Um, so yeah.